It has been quite some time since I talked about my boy, the three-time men's physique champion, Brandon Hendrickson, boys. And this is the latest update from the champ. And it feels so damn good that after taking three months off, I get to talk about the Mr. Olympia coming up in six weeks. I get to talk about the men's physique champion, Brandon D. Hendrickson, your three-time. Right now, show of hands, who has Brandon winning again who has brandon winning four five six who has brandon winning and beating jeremy buendia's title i don't know because jeremy buendia is now apparently coming back in 2023 which is going to be nuts but anyways this video is about brandon hendrickson this is the latest update from brandon doing some rack pulls all charged up this is the man that has all the money on the line this is the man that has the most to lose there is not one other men's physique olympian that has more to lose than Brandon D. Hendrickson. I'm going to read you this post. We're going to get into how he's feeling, where I think his mind is, and maybe some predictions if he's going to win it again. Brandon says, if you hear a voice within you say you cannot paint, then by all means paint, and that voice will be silenced. Go ahead and do what you want to do, boys. Get after it. Don't quit. Six weeks out of the Mr. Olympia, chipping away slowly. Funny thing is, Neil Yoda Hill, the legendary coach himself, hasn't even pulled the trigger yet. What's the trigger, Brandon? Tell me. Tell the fans. What's the trigger? What are you, what are you adding? What's the cocktail, man? Uh, he says, this is my second full prep with my new coach. Remember, they already got a men's physique Mr. Olympia together. Shit's crazy. S shit's crazy right now. Uh, Neil Yoda Hill, and it has been amazing. I feel ready. I'm locked in. Stay ready. Stay wavy, period. Take your notes, boys, because this is going to be a dope damn video. 2018, we saw Brandon Hendrickson beat the best to ever do it, Jeremy Buendia. Credit, you know, Jeremy had a torn pec and he was coming back, so maybe that win wasn't justified. 2019, we see Brandon come back and lose to Raymond Edmonds. 2020, Brandon comes back with force, wins the Men's Physique Mr. Olympia. Again, comes back in 2021, wins the Mr. Uh, Men's Physique Mr. Olympia. Again, and now he is the man with the most to lose. Who has Brandon Hendrickson winning this men's physique, Mr. Olympia? He's a hard guy to beat, boys. He, I mean, he has everything going for him. Right now, he is the standard. In the judge's eyes, for the entire men's physique division, this is the physique that is the standard. This is the best in the world with the board shorts on, right? This is the guy walking on the beach in Miami with the board shorts, the best model you can find. That's men's physique, really, right? It's the buffest guy on the beach with the board shorts. But now these guys are just getting absolutely giant. And I'll, that's a whole nother topic in itself. But right now, we're talking about Brandon Hendrickson. I want to know where his mind is, you know? Because I feel like bodybuilding and men's physique and classic physique, just all the bodybuilding, a lot of it is mental. If your mental is off, if you're stressed out, if you're going through too many emotions in your mind, your body will not look the way it needs to. You guys know that. You can't you know, look your best when you're feeling your absolute worst mentally and you're stressed out and you're worried about everything. He says, us versus the world. You too, amo. Me, you, amo forever. So he's back with this girl. Six weeks out of the men's physique, Mr. Olympia. Is this going to help him or is this going to hinder him? I think it's going to help him. I think it's going to be good to see uh, Brandon have this type of support heading into the men's, men's physique, Mr. Olympia. I mean, we're only six weeks out, and this is just crazy. Things are heating up, boys. You're going to get two videos a day from me. Make sure you subscribe if you love men's physique. I'll be talking about bodybuilding, classic physique, everything. I like seeing them together. I feel like Brandon's very happy when he's with her. I hope they can stay together and stay strong so he can have the best mental heading into this Mr. Olympia. Because what I always talk about is I want to see every guy at their 100%. Because I want to see the best of the best win. So this is very exciting stuff. Dude, it feels so good to be back and talking about men's physique and bodybuilding. Boys, you can't even imagine the shit I went through. I talked about my previous video with Andre Ferguson. I kind of broke down what was going on. Go watch that. But it feels so good to be in my own space with my own family and talking about this shit, man. This guy could beat him, right? One of the best to do it out of Brazil who got third place last year, Diogo Montenegro. I've interviewed Diogo in person physically, went into his hotel room in Boston, had his wife and child in the other room. The guy let me in. I got to know Diogo Montenegro on a very deep level. And this is one of the guys that can take down Brandon Hendrickson. Maybe. 
right? I know there's a lot of Brazilian guys always want the Brazilian guys to win. Will Diogo have enough to beat Brandon Hendrickson? My personal opinion, no. I don't think Diogo is ever going to beat Brandon Hendrickson. I think Brandon is way too complete of an athlete to ever lose to a guy like Diogo Montenegro. Then there's this guy, who, Aaron Banks, 6'1", looks like an aesthetic basketball player that decided to join the men's physique division and the judges loved him, one of the best backs in the league. Can Aaron beat Brandon Hendrickson this year? That's another thing we got to look for. My thing is, though, and this is a whole nother video in itself, and I'll do it a whole nother video later on. Aaron needs to beat himself before I think he can beat Brandon because his package last year was insane. Here was the champ. For the guys that have not seen his posing routine at the 2021 Men's Physique Mr. Olympia, I covered this on my last channel. Look at this. Look at the chest, the delts. He's so round perfect conditioning him and neil uh, and neil yoda hill absolutely bring the best of the best hendrickson squeeze he's going to be hard to beat again there's only a few guys that are going to be able to beat him and here's one of them here's one of them and i'll do a whole nother video on chiron holden but this guy is on fire this is my guy who i think can beat brandon hendrickson this year he's been third place multiple times last year we saw him drop to fourth place look at this physique i love it I absolutely love it, man. This is the this is this is what I want to see. I want to see Chiron Holden and Brandon Hendrickson side by side at this year's men's physique Mr. Olympia because I think Chiron Holden has all of the muscle and has the a wonderful shape, extremely aesthetic, has the back, has the posing, has the look, has everything to take down Brandon. That's why I say Brandon's the one who has everything to lose look at this guy are you kidding me i met chiron in person dope dude man latest physique update though from the champ what do you boys think he's so damn aesthetic look at the midsection look at the hendrickson squeeze and he almost does it new watch him kind of bend forward a little bit oh my gosh i'm seeing so many guys hit the hendrickson squeeze and if you can hit it and it looks good just hit it just hit it. Who cares if Brandon came up with it or whatever you want to say? Just hit it. If you got those erectors, if you got the Christmas tree, hit it. Classic Brandon? Oh, my gosh. He's more impressive, honestly, when he pulls up his shorts. That's why I love that he wears those dark sport because they're so damn tapered and they're pretty short. You can really see that X frame with Brandon, and it's just insane. Again, one more time, the Hendrickson squeeze. Who remembers when he pulled out this move? at the 2020 Men's Physique Mr. Olympia. My jaw dropped to the ground. I was like, damn. We are six weeks out. Booty sweat is showing. And Brandon Hendrickson needs to win a fourth title. Who's going to stop him? Who's going to stop this guy? Diogo? Chiron? Aaron? Like, who has a chance of beating Brandon Hendrickson? Oh my gosh, lemon water in the morning is fucking amazing. We're six weeks out of the Men's Physique Mr. Olympia. Hart McGrath is back. I got two videos coming at you every single day. Is B. Henny winning his fourth Men's Physique Mr. Olympia? I'll keep you guys updated. I love you tons. Make sure you subscribe to the new channel. Post this in your story. Tell your friends. Don't quit. And I'll see you boys tomorrow. Love you.